is up everyone and welcome to the Sean Bailey Fit Kitchen. I know in a lot of my videos I like to talk about fitness and nutrition but I also want to help show you exactly how to make some of those meals that I talk about. So today I'm giving you my recipe and showing you how to cook my chicken and veggie stir fry. This is a very easy and very cheap meal that you can make and also it makes it very simple to mix and match different types of veggies that you like for yourself. But today I do have my own regular ingredients that I will be putting in. This chicken stir fry is good for at least three to four servings depending on your serving size. So if you are meal prepping this for yourself, it's gonna be good for at least a few days. Or if you're cooking this just for your family, this is good for a full meal. This is also a much healthier version in terms of stir fries than you would find at a store or in a restaurant as we'll be cooking this without any chicken broth and we are using a low sodium soy sauce. So we are gonna be reducing the fat and sodium content of this meal. Let's start with our main ingredients. We're gonna start with some baby spinach. We're gonna have three to four chicken breasts depending on your serving size. One medium red bell pepper about two to three cups of broccoli, two zucchini squash, a cup of rice, and our low sodium soy sauce, and a tablespoon of brown sugar for the soy sauce. So we'll begin with the chicken, which we are gonna cook in just some plain water. So we're gonna keep that sodium low without adding any chicken broth. So you're gonna boil your chicken in your own seasonings, but for mine, I like to use a little bit of ground cumin, some lemon pepper, some black cracked pepper, some sea salt, and just some regular table blend seasoning. So we're gonna add that into the water and bring it to a medium boil. While the water is boiling, you can go ahead and get started on cooking your rice as well. Once our water is boiling, go ahead and add your chicken and let that cook uncover for about five minutes. And then we'll go ahead and cover up that chicken and cook it covered for about 15 more minutes. So while our chicken is cooking, we'll go ahead and prepare our veggies. So take your bell pepper, zucchini, and broccoli, and we're gonna go ahead and chop those up. And then you can put those into just a small plastic bag so that we can mix them with some seasoning and some extra virgin olive oil. Once our chicken is done cooking, go ahead and drain the pot and set your chicken aside to cool. You can then throw our veggie mix into the pot and cook that for about six to eight minutes. Once the chicken has cooled, we're gonna go ahead and shred that up and then we will add that back into the vegetable mix and just mix that well and let that cook for a couple extra minutes. And while that's happening, we can prepare our sauce. We're gonna take a quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce and we'll add a tablespoon of brown sugar, a teaspoon of cornstarch just to thicken the sauce a little bit, and we'll mix that up nice and well. Once your veggie mix is cooked, go ahead and add about a half a bag of spinach along with your soy sauce mix and cook that for about an extra two to three minutes. Now you can go ahead and plate your rice along with the stir fry and there you have it, a very nice and healthy chicken stir fry. If you did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel below. Also leave a comment if you did have any questions or want to see some more about this recipe. And I'll be seeing you next time in the Sean Bailey Fit Kitchen.